Hi, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared, and what we're going to talk about in this video is leveling our line of multi-platform machines. Now, keep in mind that every single machine that we manufacture here has been assembled and tested. So if you pick the machine up, it's probably going to be completely assembled. You're going to put it on your trailer and go. And if we ship it to you, it'll be assembled, except we may have removed the bed and the gantry to, to lower the cost of freight. Regardless, you're going to need to level the machine once it's in your facility. So first thing you're going to want to do is place the machine in the location that you want it. And then you are going to run the bolts up in the bottom parts of the leg all the way up. Um, and what we're talking about, there's three bolts in each corner leg. They're 12 millimeter bolts. There's two in the center legs if you happen to have a machine that's that way. So what you're going to do is raise them up and that will allow the entire frame to settle down on the floor. And the reason we want to do that is every multi-platform machine is downdraft system ready. So you can hook up your air you know, um, pumps to it or whatever, blowers, and it's ready to go. All you do need to do is seal it to the bottom of the floor. So to accomplish that, you want the frame as low to the floor as you could possibly get it. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do. Okay, once that's down, we can now start the leveling process. You may be very tempted to use a level similar to that orange one right there and put it on top of the bed that's bolted to the machine and use that as a surface. We, we don't want you to do that because those are weldments. They're not precision surfaces. Once again, the entire top of this frame has been CNC machined. It is true. It is very good. That's the surface that we're going to be working off of. So if you did want to use the level, we would recommend removing the bed off the machine. It's not that hard, but it, it's an unnecessary endeavor that you just don't need to do it. So what we're going to do, instead of using a level, we're going to use a water leveling system. In our opinion, that's the best way by far. So in order to assist you in doing that in the field, we supply every machine with four brackets right here that are designed to bolt at the corners regardless if there's a bed on it or not. Um, and they're going to allow us to hook our tubing up to it. Now this particular water level system here, we've chosen half inch clear vinyl tubing. We've got two T's, one at each of these corners, and we have tie wrapped it to our brackets so that the end of the cutoff tubing, about two and a half, three inches above the machine surface. It doesn't matter how far it is, just so long as it's up a pretty good distance right there. Now, what we did then was we took our little funnel and we filled it up with water until the water level was yay far above the surface of the, of the machine frame. It doesn't matter how far up it is. I think, you know, in this case, it's like three quarters of an inch. It could be an inch. It, it just doesn't matter. Now, at that point, <clears throat> we shook the tube in a little bit to get out some air bubbles. You don't have to get them all out. Just try to minimize them. And now we're ready to start the leveling process. And it's very simple. Remember we talked about we want the, the whole entire frame as low to the floor as possible. And then the way to ensure that is you're going to go around and you're going to measure the height of the water column above this table at all four corners. Now, one of them will probably be the shortest number. You know, the, the odds of them, all, they're not going to be the same, but one of them will be the smallest distance measured. That is the high point of your floor at that point right there. So what you're going to do is we are not going to adjust on that corner. We're going to pick the other corners and typically that's going to be maybe an opposite corner, like straight that away. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start adjusting using the corner bolts that are right here, not the ones on the end. We are going to adjust this machine level. And at that point, all four corners will be the same height and the frame will be as low to the floor as is humanly possible. Now, let's just pick a scenario where you've got a bow in your floor right here and your center legs are hitting. Okay, in that case, once you've got the machine semi-level, you are going to have to adjust this corner up a little bit and all the other corresponding corners so that these legs right here, the center legs, are not touching the floor. They'll be very close to the floor, but you don't want them touching because then the machine basically is a teeter-totter at that point. And then once you've done all that, you've got the machine leveled, you're going to go ahead and put the lock nuts on top of the corner leg frames and lock those bolts in place. Now you can go ahead and run down the other two bolts at each leg and the bolts in the center, put the nuts on top, lock them in place also. At that point, the only thing that we recommend you do as far as installing the machine is we also supply little brackets and everything that will allow you to attach the floor, the machine to the floor. 
You're going to want to do that on the controller side of the machine. If you're watching this video, you, you've got our machine, so you know what I'm talking about. You're going to put them down in the, on that, that side of the machine. We're going to leave the other side bare. Anyway, that's really all there is to leveling a machine properly. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.